love the sound of the crack of the bat against the baseball. And with this slugger, you can't miss. Jesse LaCase is a boy of summer. He loved playing baseball his entire life. He got tired of breaking bats at the plate, so started making them himself. And he hit the ball out of the park. So much so that in 2012, Jesse and his company were officially recognized by the US Congress for his commitment to quality and incredible success. In his shop in Skohegan, Maine, Jesse turns native hardwood trees into custom bats for hitters of all ages. Here at LaCase Bats, we specialize in giving a player exactly what he needs for a model. Right. I mean, with a bat, you can take any possible handle style and mix it with a large barrel, a small barrel, a short barrel. Uh -huh. He starts by chopping down a tree. Ready to head off to the sawmill. Be sawn up into three by three squares before it's ready to turn into bats. The logs are cut at the mill, and then they're dried in a kiln that Jesse made himself. It's uh, based off a dehumidifier, fan, and a heat source that's circulating the air around the wood. It takes about six to eight weeks. It's a slow dry process, which is preferred for baseball bats. Why New England wood for bats? Well, all bat wood comes out of New England. But the main reason for what do you that. Mean all? Pretty much all bat wood that the pros and amateurs are using really? all around the world is coming from New England. New England's loaded with hardwoods. But also the climate that we have here is an extreme cold in the winter and extreme warm in the summer, which makes just makes trees harder. When did you make your first bat? Ten years ago this year, and I just really wanted to turn my own bat and ideally hit a home run with it. It took me two and a half hours, I think, to turn the first bat. How long does it take you now? Uh, I can hand turn one in about 15 minutes. We need to find the center, because we're going to turn this thing. We're okay. going to pull the bat out of this. Like that. The other end. OK, we're going to go find the bat inside this wood. OK, Jesse, what is this thing? It's a roughing gouge, it's called. It's a roughing gouge. Which oh. is used to initially go from square to round. It's good for knocking the corners off. Next, Jesse measures the roughed out bat to 34 inches, and we use a parting tool to cut grooves into the ends. Now we just have the basic layout of our bat in between these two points. Then we switch over to, here is called a spindle gouge. It's uh, similar to the roughing gouge, but made more for these tight areas. Jesse adjusts the barrel size to fit the player, so he'll keep turning the barrel to the proper measurements. If you were my customer, you would come over here and put your hands on here and okay. you kind of give it that, that let me just, uh, type. Let me just, just try, give it a try out, here. Right? Yeah. Oh, that is perfect. Perfect. Oh, perfect. yeah. Yeah. But it's a little prickly. Mm, you're going to have to sand it then. Sand and sanding. Sand and sanding. Put a little more pressure get under there with your hand. Yeah, it might start to get hot after a while. When you sand wood on a lathe, you're sanding against the grain because mm -hmm. your grains are going this way. Mm -hmm. This is good for just. Jesse cuts the turned ends off of the bat before we move on. Next, we'll be creating a kind of cup on the top of the barrel. I've seen this done before on bats, but I've always wondered why. As maple bats came into the market, they needed a way to make them lighter. So we take about a one inch cup out of the end of the bat, which takes about an ounce of weight off our bat and makes it feel a little more balanced because you're taking it out of the barrel. This is a cupper. This is a cup custom cupping machine. A custom cupping custom machine. Custom made cupping machine. <laughs> OK. One of a kind. Push it down in there at the same time that you tighten that together. And now All get right. some leverage on that. All right. As much leverage as you can, yep. Yeah. OK. All right, flip her on. Oh, she is a pro. Jesse's bats start at $25 for a kid's first bat and go up to $75 for an adult bat with a custom logo. We're ready to put the LaCase bat logo on. And then it would be ready for the uh, painting room to put a clear coat over this. What are people saying about your bats? What's some of the feedback that you get? I'll get letters from dads. Hey, my kid just got a double, or ripped a triple with your bat, and that is rewarding. <laughs> 